Gemini. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 5th to the 11th of December 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you enjoy the reading, there is a like button with the thumbs up there. Also the subscription or subscribe button down here and the notification bell that lets you know when my readings are uploaded. Everyone, I have uploaded the monthly December 2020, 2022 readings. <laughs> it was hard to say um, quickly, but um, yeah, they are uploaded as well if you want to check those out too. So, Gemini. I've gone back to Moontology Oracle to start the reading before we get into the regular weekly reading here. And you get New Moon in Leo, confidence is your key to success. Love that. Nothing wrong with confidence. Sometimes easier said than done, but I feel like things are happening for you and you're gaining all this confidence in the world. Love that. I hope that's for all of you. Not getting too cocky or too overconfident, but, um, but that confidence very important there so Leo no new moon in Leo <laughs> Gemini <laughs> December the 5th to the 11th 2022 king of swords overall very logical very level-headed using your head over your heart taking action but thinking things through carefully first even that is confidence, and that's the key to your success. Confidence, logicality, boom, you've got it. Past energies, you had the Ten of Swords, the Hierophant, Four of Swords. The end of a painful cycle here. It's been one hell of a painful journey to get to this stage. A lot of peer pressure that had been put on you may have been dealing with a Taurus, but it's now just time to step back, take a breath, rejuvenate, and gather your thoughts come out with all the confidence from that present energies ace of swords two of wands three of wands love that flow on effect ace of swords clearing the crap out from the past having a fresh start a clear opening a clear beginning to focus on where you are heading the core of your reading with that two of wands that focus is there, knowing you've got to keep moving towards those goals. That two of wands to three of wands, your eyes are wide open, you're seeing the bigger picture, whether it's in a positive way, whether it's in a negative way, at least having that clarity is very key to where you move forward to from here. Future energies, six of swords, the lovers, five of pentacles. Some of you are moving forward here, possibly when it comes to love, somebody significant, soulmate twin flame, dealing with another Gemini, your own energy. The plans are underway to move forward from this cold energy where you have felt blocked, ghosted, somebody's walked away, no explanation at all, but I feel like the plans are underway to get things moving towards something a lot more pleasant and warmer that confidence is your key to success and that action being taken. Wow. So Gemini, let's clarify everything here. Starting with the King of Swords overall for the week. The Hanged Man, Three of Wands, Nine of Cups. Ultimately, it is about having your eyes wide open seeing something for what it really is, someone for who they really are, but that clarity is very key this week. It's able to make a clear decision then to cut yourself free from feeling like you are left sitting on the fence, hanging around, waiting for somebody to make their mind up here. Get that confidence to make a decision yourself here and cut yourself free from that energy, but that comes with being able to see very clearly that somebody is leaving you hanging um, hanging here. So past energies, Gemini, Ten of Swords, Knight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Princess of Swords. 
There's love on offer here. Does it bring an end to this painful cycle, this offer of love? Confident the two of you do make a good team and work well together. Existing relationship, somebody brand new, bring it on. You are ready for this. There's happy family life, success around home and family life, and you are well and truly ready for all of the above. Bring it on and let's get things happening. The Hierophant, somebody might not like this too much. Six of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Seven of Swords. Whoever this is that's putting the pressure on you, um, I feel like they're doing a lot of taking here of your energy. When you're trying to give and give and give, and they're doing a lot of take and take and take. And so it is balancing this energy out because it's bringing you a lot of sadness, a lot of deceptive energy, a lot of backstabbing, um, where it is watch your back here. This outside energy that's coming into the mix, that's not needed, not wanted. It is about balancing things out. Know there's loving energy around you and being able to move forward when you're ready, not when others dictate to you that you need to move on now. Feel that's the pressure that's been put on you, some sort of sadness that you have gone through and somebody is trying to tell you to hurry up and get on with it. You may not be ready. Everybody does this in their own time, in their own way. And you're still having this time to yourself. Four of Swords, nothing wrong with that at all. Looking after number one. So past energies, Four of Swords, Gemini. High Priestess, the Magician, King of Pentacles. Have got your guard up a bit, not surprisingly so, with all this pressure being put on you, but you're not wanting to be overwhelmed by everybody telling you to do this, that, and everything else. Okay, you are taking that step back for yourself, allowing yourself time to manifest, to gather your thoughts, to create the plans, the magic, to get results that work in your favor. Once this starts moving, it moves quickly and you do get the sudden result, the sudden success here, whether it's getting control of finances, whether things are starting to fall into place, but they are doing this in your time, not someone else's. Wow. Present energies, Gemini, Ace of Swords. Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, Justice. Three major arcanas, super energy right there, but clearing that crap out, having this fresh opening, this new beginning here, this Wheel of Fortune is able to start to pick up the pace quite quickly, quite smoothly, and able to get things on the move towards your bigger and better things. Good luck, good fortune, sweet justice, it's all yours to claim. Okay, could be dealing with a Libra here. Keep an open mind towards where this Wheel of Fortune is pushing you forward to, but um, ultimately claim that sweet justice as your own there. Confidence is your key to success. Confidence gets this Wheel of Fortune moving and happening. Two of Wands. The focus is here where you are moving forward to. Two of Swords, Six of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Sometimes feeling like you are stuck at a crossroads here. It might be this Hierophant energy coming back into the situation. But taking the blindfold off, seeing very clearly what path is bringing you your success to your bigger and better things. Putting plans into place to get things happening. It's taking its time. That doesn't matter. Slow things down. Take your time and putting some solid plans into place because the focus is where you're heading, but the, but the whole process is on how to get there and take the time to put some solid plans into place to get things moving forward or in that forward direction. So you've got your eyes wide open with the three of wands, Gemini. Four of Swords, Queen of Wands, Five of Swords. Still taking that time for yourself. Everybody needs to do that at some stage. 
If you have to do that again, so be it. But it is looking after number one, allowing yourself that confidence. We're talking about with confidence being the key to your success. Confidence and determination as well to go after your dreams and your goals. Your eyes are focused on those here. You're sick of this battle of banging your head against a brick wall, taking that time out for yourself and knowing that battle can be left behind and that is still a victory in itself for you to continue your journey towards your success. Love that, Gemini. Future energy, Six of Swords. The flow on effect, four of swords, five of swords, down here to the six of swords. Action is being taken to move forward here. Five of wands, nine of wands, eight of cups. Yeah, emotional detachment here. What needs to be walked away from, what that battle is, and claim that victory in itself. That can be your key to success right there. Because there is still drama, there is still jealousy, there is still conflict and disagreements that are happening. And that's why you're not wanting everybody to know your plans just at this stage, I'm going to say. You've overcome a lot of obstacles, you are on solid ground, this clear path is ahead. And you are able to see clearly the drama that's going on around you, but you are also able to see clearly what needs to be walked away from. Wow. To come into the lovers, Gemini, your own energy here. Two of cups, the moon, four of wands. Well, there is love here, just in case you weren't sure just yet. Existing relationship, new relationship, there is love here. Could be dealing with Pisces as well, hidden fears when things do seem a bit darker and grey, especially around all this drama. Um, that moon has given you a lot more clarity. Stability. Could be buying a home, could be getting a job, but maybe also more around commitment, given you've got the lovers in the Two of Cups. Marriage proposal, moving in together, even getting together initially with someone here. There is love on your side, there is love by your side, and together that confidence is bringing you that success. Especially as you finish with the Five of Pentacles, feeling left out of a situation here. But this love may be pushing forward. Seven of Wands, King of Cups, the lovers. Be dealing with another Gemini, as I mentioned before. Double dose down here in this future line energy. Somebody's not giving up, somebody's not quitting. Whether it's you, whether it's them, whether it's the both of you. Side by side, sticking together and you're doing this. Being in control of your emotions and you're not letting somebody put you in this cold energy around this drama, around this conflict. Um, you are on to bigger and better things and a lot more warmer energy, especially with somebody by your side. Wow, Gemini. So let us see what the universe has to say to finish. Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Look at that, 0 to 360 in 5 seconds, overnight success. Confidence is your key to success. You start with step one with the Ace of Pentacles and you finish with the King of Pentacles quite suddenly with that success. Getting control of finances, abundance, everything is starting to fall into place. You're proud of how far you've come emotionally. You're still standing and this drama is not upsetting you in the slightest because it's all on, that success is there, it's happening. That success may well be around this somebody significant as well. So, Gemini, that is what I have for the week. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.